Greetings, future doctors. It's me, Dr. Paul Gerhardt uh, from City University. Uh, we are now in week six, and therefore we're working on module six, strategies for developing ethical leaders. Uh, thank you so much for all of your hard work last week. It seems like most everybody was deeply engaged in the discussion, and it went all week long. And so thank you very much. Excellent job. And so welcome to week six. Last week, we discussed bad bosses and ethical challenges of our organizations. And we had a really meaningful discussion on ethics in the workplace. And my favorite part was when Lindy explained the thoughts and actions of her colleague. Oh, yeah, here. That's kind of hard to do. Colleague. Those are air quotes. Anyway, I graded your leadership alignment projects and gave you some feedback. And most were really good. I, I was overall very happy with the thoughtful scholarly writing and research that you did. So thank you very much for all of your hard work. Uh, two more papers to go. Uh, hopefully my feedback uh, will make the uh, next ones even better since uh, there are more points associated with them. I usually teach undergraduate classes and I teach a few graduate classes and uh, I really love the level of uh, writing that most of you are doing right now. I want to encourage you to, if you haven't uh, used your APA manual or if you don't have an APA manual to, to get one of those, that will certainly help you a lot in both the discussions and your, your papers here at, at the university. Uh, do uh, use the Purdue OWL APA website too. You'll find that very helpful too. This week the uh, required reading is on developing ethical leadership. Uh, the discussion questions, part one, uh, read Freeman and Stewart's 2006 article on developing ethical leadership. Then critically analyze the 10 characteristics of ethical leaders. Which of these do you agree with? Which do you not agree with? And what characteristics are missing from this list? I can't wait to see your list, by the way. Uh, support your position with at least one scholarly source in APA format, including a full reference. Part two. Scan the literature and find at least three strategies for developing ethical leaders. Critically analyze these strategies by evaluating assumptions, considering alternative viewpoints, probing implications, and synthesizing perspectives with supporting evidence from the literature. Evaluation needs to, be re to, needs to reflect research-supported best practices. Support your position with at least one scholarly resource in APA format, including the full reference. Notice I've been coaching you on APA uh, citations and referencing and formatting. So that's really important to the university. Part three, review the posts of your peers and respond by Sunday to a minimum of three posts with substantive contributions with at least a minimum of 100 words each. Extending the discussion on strategies for developing ethical leaders. Citations are encouraged but not required for these responses to your peer. Keep in mind that the ethical leadership paper is due next week before midnight on Sunday for week seven. We're in week six now so you, it's a good time to get it started but it will be due on Sunday of week seven. And I've posted a link of some videos to watch. Uh, watch the More Than Sound Net uh, Ethics and Leadership uh, video. The, uh, there's another TED Talks on TED Global with Patrick uh, Oahu and uh, on how to educate leaders. And then watch the vid video on ethical leadership spray by the uh, Bright Sight group. Well, that's about all I have for you right now. Um, I'll look forward to uh, seeing you online. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to uh, contact me. I'm always happy to help. We're getting closer to finishing. I'll see you online. Thanks.